rumors. Rumors. Discussion. Discussion. On Minehead rumors. was closed because Microsoft wouldn't sell Fable. Fable oh, franchise. No. Yes. Given the track record of Fable, who would want to buy Fable? Well, I mean, uh, okay, let's uh, see. Fable uh, One, Fable One and Two game. were very good games. Yes. Fable After two, that, kind of weird. Uh, I'll stick to Fable One. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Because we're not going to talk about the disgusting Kinect game Fable uh, journey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Fable, <laughs> Fable yeah. Legends was trash. Fable, Fable Legends didn't even come out yet. That was that's right. Yeah. yeah, talking from the future. Well, didn't they go into have the beta? <laughs> Say that, Luis? Weren't they going to have that beta and then just close it? Well, the thing is, is that Microsoft announced that Lionhead was possibly close to their students, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> but that uh, Fable Legends, which is like a co-op game, like a four-player co-op, kind of like a MOBA, but you're against one other person that spawns enemies and stuff like that. It was a really cool idea. It's like the 4v1 format of uh, Evolve or whatever. Kind of remind me of like... Um, orcs must die. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Um, so that game was supposed to continue and be, you know, finished and then close and the suit would be closed and whatnot. But recently, Microsoft went, no, no, we're canceling Fable Legends and we're closing Lionhead. So obviously, when a studio closes, was that Microsoft's decision? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. We're closing Lionhead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Yeah. Was that Microsoft Studio? Yeah, they just it was. named it Lionhead Studios. It was Lionhead Studios. So kind of like Sony, Sony. What is it? Sony Entertainment of uh, or Sony Japan or something? What the frick is the name of their uh, Studio Japan? Studio Japan. Kind but of. it's like Sony Online. But it, it was America. owned by Microsoft, right? Right. Um, and <clears throat> where was I? I lost my train of thought, Mike. Yeah, okay, so they canceled the game. Studio close, and usually when a studio closes, well, yeah. people can buy can buy out the studio or buy out the IP. Oh, tell me they didn't. No, they wouldn't sell the IP. They wouldn't sell Fable. And no, as much as Lionhead has made black and white and like other little stupid games. Yeah, all there, the linear games. You know, like they were uh -huh. good games, but they were the Fable company. Yeah, like Bungie will always be the Halo company, even though they're not anymore. Yeah, 343, but I mean, they will always be known for known as the, exactly. the Halo company. You know? So, allegedly, Microsoft did not want to sell the Fable IP with the studio. So, 90% of the buyers oh from somebody who worked at Lionhead, this is all information coming from somebody who worked there, 90% of the buyers were not interested anymore because Microsoft will not let go of the Fable franchise. And don't so get me nobody wrong. Nobody ended up buying the studio. No, and don't get me wrong. Like I love Fable One and Two. Fable Three was okay on certain parts, but horrible for almost everything else. Um, so good guy Microsoft, not such a good guy. No, no not not for that. You know, like I feel, you know, like they've been doing a lot of really good stuff lately for consumers. Um, but I think you should judge a company on what they do across the board and not just Absolutely. one part of what they do, right? So yeah, it's great. They want to unify friends lists and stuff like that. And they, they're trying to make uh, unifying their, their uh, unifying the systems. You buy the game once you have it on your PC and on the Xbox and all that Very stuff good. and all the stuff that they're doing for clients. But at the same time, are they really doing the clients, of, are they really doing customers and like consumers a favor? And gamers a favor, let's be honest, if they're playing hard to get with titles and yeah. stuff, at canceling titles, be like, no, we own the IP. Yeah. Man, man, man. And not only that, um, one of the creative directors pitched and did to Microsoft about Fable 4. Okay. Already. Yeah, that was before Fable Legends. Mm -hmm. And that whole game was supposed to be set in a Victorian London, steampunk with magic, with like huge zeppelins, and you know, basically, uh, Bowerstone Stone from the first, well, from all the so games. So the order, but the Fable, the Fable order. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I wouldn't say no to that. And they got shot down like immediately. Because all they wanted was enough time, four years. Four years is enough time to make a game. It's not going to be rushed and a decent budget. And they got shot down. So then Microsoft went like, well, you can make a Fable game, but it has to be a platform 
a platform game, right? So a free game, but you have to buy units and stuff like that. Which is what Legends was supposed to be, like a MOBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a shame because imagine if someone else would have grabbed a hold of Fable Legends. I mean, you would get the chance to see Fable, Fable in what other person's visions would be, right? Or even then, like, it could have been just exactly what the studio needed. Like, money and let them do whatever they want. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, those were two opportunities that have, uh, there's absolutely no reason why Microsoft should have shut them down like that. No. But at the same time, it could mean that maybe Microsoft does have plans for Fable in the future. Um, yeah, but you I mean, that is what being greedy with an IP would suggest, right? But yeah. then, why haven't we heard anything about it? Why isn't okay. there... I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Who else but Nintendo would make a Zelda game? Well, I mean, they, if they could, it's been 10 years now, but you know. I'm pretty sure if they could, anyone would try to make a... Okay, so, a video of a so, Microsoft <laughs> and this is and Nintendo. Ta-da! Okay. It's a talent. So, anybody can make another Zelda game, right? Yeah. THQ made Darksiders, mm -hmm. which is arguably a Zelda game. That's true. You know, it's... It's Zelda. It's Zelda, okay. but yeah. darker and with different lore. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's Zelda. So who else is gonna make a Dark Dante's Riders? Inferno was made by uh, EA. Yeah, but that's like yeah. a God of War clone. It's what? A God of War clone. No, it's not. It's yeah, Spectacle it Fighter. Well, it's like a mix of a God of it's War. Like, it's a Spectacle Fighter. Well, yeah, but it's also got some little adventure aspects so to it. So does God of War. It's God of War. It's God of War. They, I got, they, I got, they got flames for their being so close to it being the same formula. I like the world with the penises everywhere. That was cool. Yeah, the first world you go into, vaginas and penises everywhere. Lust. Yay! One of the first layer of hell. Yeah. It's a good game, by the way. It's a fantastic game. You should definitely play it. just lit up. <laughs> Ooh! Polygonal tits and boot and booty. Ooh. Okay, so what's our uh, what's our consensus on uh, Microsoft after this move? It's stupid. It's stupid. I don't like them. Fuck assholes. <laughs> I just went back to fully hating Microsoft for this. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. Now I could go back to being a Sony uh, fanboy. Yep. Yes, he is. Hey guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed our vid. If you did, you can check out our other videos right there. If you like the TMS swag, you can check out the link down below for Madden clothing and check out our other cool clothing. And if you want free games, because who doesn't, well you can also check out our other link down below for Gamers Giveaway. We we'll give away one game every week. So check that out and thanks for watching.